Hi everyone, I'm Chris Ferry, and I'm going to read for you my book, There Was a Black Hole That Swallowed the Universe, with pictures by Susan Batori. It goes like this. There was a black hole that swallowed the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a galaxy. It left quite a cavity after swallowing that galaxy. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a star. It couldn't get far, that bright shining star. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies that swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a planet. Very organic, this fine looking planet. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a cell. It might get unwell after swallowing a cell. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a molecule. It thought it was fuel, a big molecule. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed an atom. It's hard to get atoms, those tiny atoms. It swallowed the atoms that built up the molecules. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a neutron. A good start to build on, a neutral neutron. It swallowed the neutrons that stabled the atoms. It swallowed the atoms that built up the molecules. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to the planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited the stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a quark. That's all there was. And now it's dark. The end. Now if you have a black light, then you can shine it on the page and see that there's another story. That story goes in reverse, and it goes like this. There was a big bang that created a quark. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a neutron, held together by gluons, an unstable neutron. It created a neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created an atom. It's not hard to fathom, a simple atom. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a molecule. Its atoms were dual, a diatomic molecule. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a cell. It had its own shell, the fragile cell. It created the cell with organic molecules. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a planet. It started volcanic, this rocky planet. It created the planet to protect the cell. It created the cell with organic molecules. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a star. The light will shine far from this medium sized star. It created the star to heat the planet. It created the planet to protect the cell. It created the cell with organic molecules. It created the molecule bonded from atoms. It created the atom to house the neutron. It created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a big bang that created a galaxy spinning round its own gravity, a spiral galaxy. 
created the galaxy, filled the stars, it created the star to heat the planet, it created the planet to protect the cell, it created the cell with organic molecules, it created the molecule, bonded from atoms, it created the atom to house the neutron, it created the neutron out of three quarks. I don't know why it created a quark, but now it's not dark. There was a Big Bang that created all space. What a great place, our beautiful space. And that's the end of There Was a Black Hole That Swallowed the Universe. Words by Chris Ferry, pictures by Susan Batori. Thanks for listening. The most common question children ask me is, how do you make a book like this? Well, the pages get printed in the same way as any other book. But after the regular ink gets printed, then the special invisible ink gets printed, and this ink can only be seen under a black light. You can find invisible ink in something like a spy pen. Here's one more fun fact about things that glow. Have a look at these two stars. Both glow in the black light. This one is like the invisible ink. It absorbs the black light and releases it at a lower energy that we can see with our eyes. This one does as well, but it stores the energy. So when the black light is turned off, it still glows. This glow in the dark sticker is phosphorescent fluorescent, phosphorescent, and it will store energy and release it slowly over time. Black holes and black lights. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.